Okay, we're back. We got the uh, hardware kit. Where did I put it? Right over here. So there's a hardware kit, and then we have some. Uh, these are just chrome plated nuts. They're $76.95 nuts. So the this is just a plain nut by itself. This is the whole kit from Colony. Turn the light off. Help a little bit on that, maybe. So this has the tall nut in it. You need it for right here on the oil pump here. Because there's no room in here to really put a regular nut in there and tighten it. So this gives you the new bolt. And I see that this bolt in here is quarter twenty thread. Which is what this is. So I guess that is stock. Never. That's the only quarter twenty bolt they ever use in a knuckle. I'll guarantee you that. But uh, anyway, that appears to be... What's in, well, that's what this one is anyway. So this goes up to 67. But these aren't used on late bikes. This is one of the early stuff. These two are only used on these early early style pumps like this. Here, light again. There's the light. So these covers require these double step bolts. That's these two. Everything else is light. Anyway, the, uh, to get the nut here, the tall nut, I don't think I have any more of these separate things, I just sold my last one. So this would require buying the whole kit, which gives you studs and everything. And then I, these are just miscellaneous nuts I bought years ago, so I'd have some hardware. And so, because I like having hardware. So I can come up with all the nuts here, but trying to put a regular low nut down there is really difficult to do. It's hard to hear, and there was an opening wrench. When you're putting the motor together on this table here, it's not too bad, but on a bike, it's just about impossible to get in that area. So, yeah, we'll figure out what we're going to do on that. So, I took care of that. The intermediate plate, I didn't have any uh, stuff on the Harley shelf. I had three brand new ones on the Harley shelf with holes in them, but not the ones without the holes, because that's the ones, they wouldn't sell any more than the ones with the holes in them. So, don't have that. Some of the ones are probably welding those holes up. I'll get the instructions on exactly what to do, but I'm pretty sure they just fill up these two holes, this one and this one up here. Mainly this one, I think this is the feed hole here. I think that's the one that really matters, but both of these probably block it off completely. Keeps this cavity from filling up with oil, somewhat. But uh, anyway, so I'll do that in another day or so. The other net, I get that situated, I think, pretty good on that part. So. Anyway, that's what the update is, so that's where you're at. And then the next thing is I gotta do the cylinder studs, which I lost these here. I was gonna rob them out of my case over here, but I found these, so now I just gotta measure the case here to see the depth here, which as I recall is like an inch and a inch one hundred as I recall. I have to look it up again. So that's it. inch one hundred. Uh, let's see, right here. Oh, inch one, not quite 150. Basic inch and an eighth on this one. Looks about the same. Mm, you can kind of call it 150, but it's more like 140. And these are pretty damn nasty looking here, but oh, these are definitely over inch, and a half, inch 150. Yeah, so anywhere from inch and eighth to inch 150. Inch and eighth is 125. 150, 150. Oh, what are we going over here? That's why you have an assortment of cases laying around. That one's really tall. Yeah. This one's low again, 140. This one's under, this is 100. Alright, so anything from inch and eighth to. 125 to 150, so anything in that dimension will get you the correct case depth. This motor, it's got light stills in that motor, so I'm running out of motors to measure, so those are all together. Yep, all right, we'll go with those numbers. They seem to be pretty consistent, right in that one, 125 to 150. So, all right, there you go. We'll be putting these in tomorrow, and then we can take the case apart and, uh, seal it all up and put it together for real and that part of it and then deal with the oil pump all right that's it for tonight on this one